Welcome back to my channel guys. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. I also run a blog called Coco Styles NY where I give you guys how to style certain things like jeans and jackets and stuff like that. Uh, so, but in today's video guys, I'm going to give you guys the 10 top new fall and winter colors that they have announced. Well, they, they, they announced it, but it came from Fashion Week, and you guys know that a lot of the designers, they will showcase their new clothing, and pretty much they will start pulling the colors from that. So whatever colors they're seeing the most of, those will most likely be the colors that you will see this fall and this winter in 2021 to 2022. So I'm just gonna jump right into it, and the first color is Mykonos. Mykonos Blue. I think I'm pronouncing it right. So this color blue is very deep. I'm gonna pop in a picture. It's a very deep blue. Um, it almost looks like it has hints of green in it to me because it's so dark and black. Yeah. So this is the type of color that you would wear to me with something lighter. Maybe like a winter white or maybe a cream. Uh, possibly you can wear it with gray and maybe like some silver jewelry but if you wore it with like ivory or something like that or went to white I would probably do gold with it uh, but it is a dark deep blue and let me know what you guys think and what will you guys style that with so you'll see a lot of that this year for the people who do like darker colors who really want to stay away from wearing black all the time so that's number one Number two would be illuminating. So illuminating is more of a yellow color and it's very, very bright. I probably will wear that color because it's something that I think goes really good on deeper, darker skin tones. And I think it's pretty. It's almost reminding me of gold a little bit, but it reminds me of like joy <laughs> in like the sun maybe because it's such a bright color. Something like this, you could also wear with denim you can wear it with uh again ivory you can wear it with gray gray is like neutral so you can wear gray with anything you can wear it with whatever color you see fit i wouldn't mix it with like red or anything like that or maybe burgundy actually burgundy maybe look really really pretty with it depending but it's, it really gives off like a goldish color and I for one would probably will be wearing illuminating this fall and winter. So that is number two. Number three will be leprechaun. When you think of leprechaun, you think of green, right? <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Um, I for one like the green color. I think this blazer here is kind of similar that I got from Zara's a while ago. And I would wear it with, again, gold. I love gold, guys. I'm a gold person. I would do it with winter white again. I would do it with denim. I would do it with probably, I'm just looking at the jacket that I have. <laughs> I would probably do it with, I wouldn't, I would do it with tan. I wouldn't do it with black because it's such a pretty color. Um, if, if I do wear it with black, it has to be mixed in, like maybe like, a zebra type of print situation I actually do have a dress that may fit that color um, and something like that so that's the third color for this fall and winter number four would be fuchsia fedora and fuchsia fedora is exactly what it sounds like fuchsia very very pretty very bright um, I'll pop in a picture and these this color can go to me I've seen this with yellow I've seen this with green I've seen this with denim I've seen this with leather pants I've seen like black leather depending on what you like if you don't like that particular color too bright you can do it with a darker pair of leather pants you can do it with a darker pair of jeans you can do a full dress made of this color um, you can do pumps I know Manolo Blahnik not, not Manolo Oh yeah, it is Manolo. I think it's Manolo. Mm, I think so, I could be wrong. They have a really, really pretty future, future pair of pumps that will go, that, that like this color pretty much. So 
this is something that I would personally wear because I do like color. I like neutrals, but I do like colors on me, certain things, and on, like I said, on my skin tone. Uh, for the ladies who are lighter than me, I also think this is a really great color for you. And just depending on what you wear it with, if you like bold earrings, you can do a bold earring that has slight a slight hint of this color in it. If not, you can just do simple gold earrings or even possibly like studs or something. And you know what guys? If you found a blazer that is this color that has pearl buttons, <laughs> I think that is amazing right there. So even if you have a blazer and you want to change the buttons, I think pearl would look really, really pretty with this type of pink. And I'm for one with it for this fall and winter guys. So that is number four. And number five would be Pale Rosette. And it sounds like a blush color. That's exactly what it is. It's very muted, um, but it, to me it falls into that blush category. And this is a color that I think looks beautiful on any skin tone. It's very feminine. Uh, I've seen it with light colored jeans. I've seen it with nude pumps. I've seen dresses made out of this with other florals on it. I've seen this with, um, I've seen satin pants like this, which I for one love. You know, so it just really depends. You can wear it with like, if, if it is a pair of pants, you can do like a tweed jacket in the fall, like a white, like a winter white tweed with some gold buttons. And you're good to go. If you wanted to wear a full dress this color, I would definitely pair it. Like if you wanted to wear this in the winter, I would pair this with, again, winter white boots, guys. Or I would pair it with chocolate, like a chocolate pair of boots to kind of like mute it down a little bit. Maybe like a lighter color jacket because pink and brown and cream are like the three colors that I love together. So you can kind of mix and match that up if that is your style. So that is number five. <laughs> number six would be Adobe. Now, when we think of Adobe, we think of the software Adobe, right? <laughs> but no. So Adobe is more of like a, it kind of looks like a burntish orange type of situation. So almost like a sun-dried, like, tomato I guess you could say it's very deep because it has hints of red in it that for, in my opinion hints of red um, depending on what you look at online it can look more of a burnt orange and it can look like more of a brown with red undertones so just depending on what you're looking at but there are so many colors that you can pick from that are in this family and something like this again I don't know I love ivory I love cream I love those colors I would wear that with that I would wear, I actually have a skirt that is kind of similar to the color that I got from Express. And I'll see if I can find a picture of it and pop it in. But um, it's very, it's, it's a pr pretty brownish, rustic, I don't know, it's kind of weird. Um, if some of you guys may see bring orange, some of you guys may see rust brown <laughs> so it really just depends on what your eyes see but again this is something that I would wear with a lighter creamish color or even a monochrome I think monochrome would be really pretty in this with again some gold accessories gold bangles gold necklace and some gold earrings and maybe your hair up away from whatever it is that you're wearing if you're wearing like a mock neck that's also very pretty um, in this color so that is number six that is Adobe number seven would be fire world what does fire world sound like red right it's a very fiery looking red I for one it's a little too bright for me in my liking however I know that girls who are like of a caramel skin color, you know what, I'm not even gonna say that. I just don't like that particular red on me because I've seen darker skinned women with like a fiery red lipstick and it looks beautiful. And this particular red is, it's very, it's very bright, it's very bright. So if you are a person who loves red, who can pull it off, then this is the color for you. If not, then there's a few more colors that you may just like. So that's number seven, and that is the fire world. Number eight would be rhodonite. 
So Rhodonite has hints of like purple in it. So it's blue, but you can still see like some hints of purple in it. And purple is not one of not one of my favorites, but purple is also related to like royalty. <laughs> so if you do like dark colors like navy and stuff like that, this would be the perfect color for you for the fall and the winter. Definitely again with some ivory, some cream, if you wanna keep it light. I've seen people do it with black. I know a lot of people don't like to mix dark blues and black, but I have seen it being done really nice and tastefully. So if you do like stuff like that, you can definitely try that out. Just mix it up. I would definitely always, if you do black and that blue, I would definitely still throw in like something light, like a light color scarf. If you have a silk scarf around your neck, I would probably mix it. It has to be like mixed with the color and again, that cream or that ivory in there, guys. <laughs> so that is number eight. Number nine would be Spring Lake. So Spring Lake is, I'm not gonna say it's baby blue because it's not. Uh, it does have, uh, it's not a baby blue, but it's in that family, guys. So I'll pop in a picture, of course. And it's not my favorite. However, I think this color will look beautiful with like silver and like metallic. Um, maybe winter white <laughs> or cream I just I just love cream and winter white guys I just think it makes any outfit it just elevates any outfit so if you are a person who likes that baby blue family I would I would go with something like this I did see a coat from not Tibby Tibby it might have been theory mm, I don't know uh, it was a pretty pretty blue like this and it was belted three-quarter very nice um, it's too much for me. I'm six feet tall, so I can't walk around with a blue coat. <laughs> Again, I do think that it, it'll go really, really nice with like metallics and creams and ivory once again. So that is number nine. And the last one on that particular list is 10, and that is Root Bear. Root Bear is a very deep, deep brown. It's like extremely deep, guys. So it's so deep that I I would wear it, but I would I would definitely have to pair it with something light because I think it'll blend in too much with my skin and I don't want to look like I'm naked. However, if you are a caramel color, very fair skin, I think this color will be perfect, perfect on your skin. You can mix it again with ivory. You can even mix it with like something like a copper color if you wanted to and always add in something light, like a light color scarf that would take the outfit to the next level. So those are the 10 that I have that were found on the New York Fashion Week and the colors that most designers are putting into their clothing. So I have four more colors here that I believe they were out this year anyway and they're still rolling into fall and winter. And that is coconut cream, which is like a, it's kind of white. So I keep saying creams and whites and ivories. This coconut cream color is something that can go with any of these colors above that I mentioned. And then there is ultimate gray. Ultimate gray is also another one that I would say is a neutral color. So you can wear it with the illuminating, which is the yellow and you can wear it with the Spring Lake, which is the blue. So black, white, and gray is like the new neutral along with the ivory. The next one is soybean. So soybean is like a blondish beige color. So that color has more of like a yellow tone to it. So I wouldn't necessarily say that it is a color that can be worn with everything, depending on your, I guess your skin tone but it's not something that I would necessarily go for because of the yellow undertone. However, I think it would look really nice with like browns and possibly like that rustic color from the Adobe. So that's number three on that extra list. And then number four would be Olive, olive Branch. Olive Branch will fall into, hmm, Okay, so if you guys purchased anything from Gucci lately, and you guys have seen their new packaging, it's like that green box and bag, it's in that family. So something like that, you could again do it with coconut cream, you can do it with browns, 
You can do it with winter white. So I guess coconut cream, since I've been saying winter white the whole video, I think coconut cream would be the, the replacement for the winter white. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to find it as much, but there are some designers that are definitely putting out clothing with these colors and you guys are going to love them. So I'm probably gonna do another video with the 2020 and 20, 2021 and 2022 fashion trends. And I'll tell you this guys, some trends are definitely wearable outside and some are not. So I'm gonna get as many pictures that I can for you guys to show you guys what's in and how you guys can actually wear it if it's a bit too much for you and how you can play it down and play up something else. So, if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, guys, at Coco underscore style underscore NY. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.